This video is about undercharging from the alternator. So this was originally set up as a dual alternator system with dual batteries. I have since changed it to single alternator dual batteries. I just tried to get a higher powered alternator. Uh, I would order alternators off of eBay. They claim they're 300 amps. At one point it worked for about a year and then they would start squeaking. As you can see, I've had several of them. Um, this is the last one that was in there. It's not squeaking, but it uh, was taking the voltage. Yeah, startup is normal, 14 and a half. Then the more accessories you turn on and longer you let it run, it would go down to like 11 volts, not even charging the batteries. And uh, you know, anything powered on would uh, would dim all the lights and and uh, just under completely underpowered alternator. So the reason I it took so long and uh, trying to figure this thing out is because I'd take it out and I'd have it bench tested, and yeah, sure enough, it says 300 amps. But from what I since found out is uh, you know these guys that sell 300 amp high-powered alternators on eBay they're really not at idle so you know as long as you're driving maybe you'll get you know max output but you might get like 50 amps at idle so it's not even enough to power everything uh, even even the the normal OEM alternator would probably do better than theirs all right so um, what I did was I ran the uh, main alternator wire to the main battery and then from the main battery to the battery isolator and that isolates the secondary battery when the car is off so this runs down underneath the vehicle to secondary battery and um, now I finally um, went to DC power and I got uh, a true what they claim is a true 270 amp alternator with 200 amps at idle. Now, I ordered one from them. I told them to make and model of the car, but uh, they ended up sending me one that didn't quite look the same, and uh, I had to grind this off because it was hitting the intake. And then this, the power post is on the left-hand side, whereas the other ones are all on the right, and so it was hitting the intake plenum, and it would just weld itself to the intake plenum if I didn't catch that. So um, what they did is they sent me another one next day, which was very nice, that the post was, uh, instead of being on top, it was in the back, which there's plenty of room in the back, so uh, I could just drape the wire over the top of the alternator. Uh, but I still had to grind down this post so it didn't hit the intake plenum. But um, so if you get something from DC Power, uh, you might have to do a little modifications. If there's something messed up like that post, you know, grounding out, um, you know, they they next they aired me one, and then you know my vehicle is a eight groove pulley system, and you know they sent me a six groove. They did once I found that out. They uh, Next day, aired me one, uh, an eight groove. But uh, you know, they had to spend a lot of money. Next day, airing stuff. Um, I just wish they maybe give them as much information as you can up front, like the pulley grooves and exactly what vehicle it is. Maybe even send a picture of you know your alternator. But uh, so having not enough juice to to charge the batteries it would barely run the accessories and uh, then it would end up draining the batteries okay, i'm gonna start this up okay. yeah, it's a long one Right. They've got the best deals of the year okay. and the best TVs. So let's
Back here. We'll be sorry. I can add video only. You won't find huge stores with refrigerators. I can see what the voltage is at from here. So right now it's getting 15.1. I'm kind of concerned that that might be a little high, but uh, you know it's uh, it's at least going to be charging the batteries. And you turn everything on, and it still stays above 13. So all is good. Um, you know, do that bench testing of them bench testing, saying that there's a 300 amp from the eBay guys, and it's really not. Um, that that sent me on a wild goose chase and um, finally thanks to DC power we're back up and running uh, we're able to turn on all the accessories and um, make everything work correctly so if you have a high-powered stereo system um, or I don't know anything that draws a lot of power um, just make sure that you don't go with these eBay sellers that are I mean 300 amps um, because they may peak at 300 but it's it's not enough to juice you juice the batteries and keep them charged at uh, idle so um, Definitely go with somebody more reliable like DC Power. And, uh, you know, you'll save a lot of time and headache trying to figure out why your alternator is not charging correctly.